Hey guys, before we get to the news, let me apologize real quick for the lack of videos the last few days. I was recovering from a minor lower back injury, like pulled my lower back on my deadlifts. Not too big a deal, but it made sleeping kind of difficult, so the last few days was just like, tired and recovering, but yeah, thanks for your understanding. Anyways, enough of that, onto the actual news. So, we got a little situation with Wuthering Waves, and if you don't know what that game is, it's like a new free-to-play game from Kuro Games, kind of like a Genshin Impact sort of thing people are saying. And it seems like that's attracting the sort of terminally online, clout activist sort of people that you often saw in the Genshin community. Because this situation is very much similar to the sort of stuff we saw in Genshin, or like specifically on Genshin Twitter. So they got this character called Encore. Encore is bright, lovable, and is always accompanied by two woolies, her sheep, Cosmos and Cloudy. And her voice actress Karina Reeves had inadvertently upset the clout activists, the terminally online sort of people that you might find in places like Twitter. Long story short, this sticks person asked people who the best 5 star waifu is. Apparently Karina responded saying Encore or something of the sort, although it's unclear because she's since deleted the tweets. However, we can reasonably presume the context based on the screenshots that we'll be going over. Anyways, Karina's tweets led to the terminally online crowd harassing her for having the audacity to use the word waifu, even in this context, which isn't sexualized and is basically just saying, who's your favorite female five star out of these choices? Karina responded to some of the people harassing her, saying that she agreed with them and that she googled what waifu means and she had uh, no idea the term even existed and saying no more commenting from her. I don't know if I believe that though, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think she really didn't know what waifu meant? She's worked on like Wuthering Waves and Xenoblade and Final Fantasy, so I mean it's possible that she didn't, but it does seem rather unlikely. And like I said earlier, plenty of times waifu isn't used in like a sexualized way. It's just like a weeby term for who's your favorite female character. I suppose people who are new to the anime community might not know that. They might not have seen people using it like that, but that's definitely a thing. It's too bad this VA got harassed over something where she's like just trying to innocently interact with the Wuthering community, you know, game that she's voice acting in. It's also too bad that she folded so quick though, but uh, let me know what you think about this stuff in the comments. Hopefully Wuthering doesn't become like the Genshin community 2.0 or something like that, because that'd be really toxic for Wuthering players, although I don't play it myself. Maybe I'll give it a try. I heard it's better to try it sooner than later because they're giving like a lot of free stuff out right now or something. So hey, if you play Wuthering, let me know if you have any advice or anything like that. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, let me know what you think about this whole thing in the comments. I'll see you there. And if you enjoyed my brief coverage, consider liking and or subscribing. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.